So as we speak, John, a couple of training sessions left ahead of that match on Saturday at Carlisle. Are shirts still up for grabs? Yes, they are, yeah. They, they always are. Um, we want a competitive environment on a day-to-day -day basis in training. Um, players want to see that light at the end of the tunnel, that if they are they are performing, that there's an opportunity there for them. And that will be, certainly be the case um, in the remainder of this week and the remainder of this campaign. Uh, it's got to be competitive. People have got to want to fight for their shirt. When they get their shirt, they wanna, they, they've got to want to keep it. Uh, and that's certainly the environment that uh, my staff and I want to create. Just give us a bit more of an insight into the schedule over the next uh, next couple of days, if you would. So today will be a training session this morning. Um, this afternoon, the players will go to uh, the gym to do uh, an S&C session. Tomorrow will be um, more match prep, short, sharp session um, because of the, the, the long journey we've got. Um, and then, of course, we, we, we travel north um, Friday afternoon uh, to compete in a massive game on Saturday. What is the general mood of the dressing room and the club heading into this one? Uh, realistic that Carlisle is a very difficult place to go. Um, the players were very disappointed after the game, midweek, um, initially after the game. But they've come in in good spirits this morning uh, thus far. Um, but like I said to you, there'll be uh, a, a brief discussion before we go out to train to make sure that people are in the right mindset uh, and the motivation levels are where they need to be. Um, and as soon as that session starts this morning, I expect people to be um, chomping at the bit and, and, and fighting for every inch.